Now we are going to plant the air potato which is just uh, plucked by a mistake. Now here I want to show, this is I have selected an area of the forest farm where we don't do any watering or this is a jungly part almost. And but they are full of useful trees but not much cultivation as such. I, we got here, this is the sita pal or custard apple there. And then uh, this is the shanku pushpi, clitoria ternata creeper. And then here I got, we got that wild ginger. Oh, this is one of the, some kind of a fungus I think, it goes on bamboo. This one. And then, here is the, this is the forest ginger, that is a wild relative of our uh, office in Alice, the cultivated ginger's wild cousin. It looks like this. Let's go closer and take a look. Now this is a flower there. After the flowers fall off, slowly this green thing becomes red, fully red cones. And there is amazing thing about these cones, they usually hold water. See this one now, it's got water and uh, actually this water is quite nice to drink. You want to see the taste? Some gingerish type of. So, see. So if you are lost in an evergreen forest and are thirsty, Mm. Maybe a little of this you can drink and save your life. See, quite a bit of juice, huh? Amazing. So, uh, that's the old flower. Now, let's plant the air potato. Hmm? Ah, a little slimy, huh? Hmm. Okay, now show the ground. Now, here you'll see, this is a proper floor, forest floor conditions have recreated here. It's a thick, Dark brown mulch is there and earth color is no longer red and you will not see any rock or stone poking out of the earth. It's all covered with the dead leaves, layers and layers so that after a while it becomes soft and nice and this is excellent for uh, root development. And then nearby there are host trees one or two, so although that this air potato needs a host to climb on. So, we make a little hole in the ground, plant it and close it off. So, that is one more example of the jungly, lazy man farming type of cultivation. <laughs>